Welcome, in front of me is a Realme 12 Pro Plus and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So, um, to get started I'm going to mention that we will unfortunately need a secondary phone for this. I'll be using some Redmi for this but you can use any Android that has access to Google Play Store and that's about it. Uh, another thing, you will need internet connection on your device and with that being said, we can now get started. So I'm going to also talk about this state of device. You can see that it is a lock that's telling me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it. And if I close this, it will tell me to verify it using Google account. So now that you can actually see that it is actually locked, we can back out. And we want to start off by actually progressing forward so I did go back without a reason and you want to get to the Wi-Fi connection page once you connect to your network which you do need to do you can then click on this icon for information I am gonna hover my hand just so I can see if there's any kind of password but I don't see anything so from here you want to select share so now I am gonna hover my hand because it does provide it with a QR code and a password actually visible but below that you have nearby so you want to click on that then select continue allow and then select the blue text need help sharing from here you're going to tap on the three dots and select share article choose messages new message and then in the field two just type in any kind of numbers, doesn't really matter. There is no SIM card as you can see, so this message isn't actually going to be sent to anyone. From there, once you confirm that number, uh, select the actual text message field because it will paste the article and you want to get rid of it. And next, type in www.youtube.com. Now I will stress this, it is very important to type in the extension www and also make sure that all the w's are small. Um, if you don't, for instance one of them is big or you don't add this extension, it will open up YouTube in this like pop-up little window which doesn't give us options that we actually need from a YouTube. So that's why I'm kind of mentioning this because it is important. From there, send it, click right here to load the preview and then click on the image and if everything went correctly if you typed in the link exactly like I did it will open up YouTube in its own full application form factor next we're gonna click right here on the account and we want to then select and quickly catch up I'm gonna select settings about and then google privacy policy continue without an account no thanks and in the search bar you want to type in hard reset.info slash bypass and here we're gonna scroll down to settings click on it and it will open up the phone's settings from our web browser which is pretty nice and next we want to then select home screen and a lock screen and home screen layout and this will glitch out the phone and just open up our home screen now uh, we are still locked just mentioning so from here you want to navigate to tools there we go tools and select clone phone and here we're gonna select that this is the new device it will bring up a window requesting access to a couple different things, so allow everything that it shows up with. Next, select uh, that we're migrating from another Android, and it shows us a QR code that we then will be able to scan it. Now, on the secondary phone that you actually have access to, you want to navigate to your Play Store and search for clone phone. We should have a couple different ones visible. Now we are looking for the Realme one, but if that's not accessible, 
we should be able to use the OnePlus, which is what I will be using as I don't see the Realme one. Continue. Wait, no, skip. There we go. Now, the reason this should work, the clone phone from a different company, is because Oppo, um, OnePlus and Realme are basically owned by the same parent company. And their cloning system is basically the same. All right, we still need to agree to a bunch of different things, so... Tangle on, go back. Settings. Tangle on, go back. Start migrating. Settings. Come on. Load the applications. Wait, feature not available. This feature has been turned off because it slows down the phone. Fantastic. Can I get with that? Well, I guess I can't do this with this phone because it's too shit to allow me to have things work as they're intended because Realme decided to not allow me to use it. Fantastic. Go, go make love to yourself. Luckily, I have other devices that I can do this with. Uh, as you can see, this sometimes will not work if the device is really like cheap. Uh, even though it's Android, it might just give you some kind of problems because why would you be able to use your device that you paid full price and have the option to do something that might slow it down when you can just not have that option and just not be able to do what you need to do? So for anyone that wants to move data from a crap device to a better one, you're shit out of luck because apparently you can't do it. Anyway, uh, let's quickly open up Play Store. Now I am using the new uh, Asus uh, ROG phone. Now here we're gonna search for clone phone. There we go, let's try that again. I have Oppo, OnePlus, Huawei, and I guess I'm gonna again go with the OnePlus. I agree. Settings. Settings. Look at that, we can actually draw over other apps. And we're now set. Okay. So. All we need to do is just scan this QR code. Now these two devices will connect to each other. There we go. And next, uh, let's give it a second to load. Now for you it might take a little bit longer. Anyway, we're gonna dis deselect everything. And from here you want to go into apps. Just make sure you tap on the actual apps as a text. And then select any kind of application from here. The smaller the app, the better. So, RAR, whatever I have right here, seems to be the smallest one at 7 megabytes. Click on the check mark, start migrating. And you can see that it now finished it. Now, there's one interesting thing that you'll notice. It says failed one. There's only one thing that we did, and it failed it. But it doesn't matter because what this actually does is tricks the set up into thinking that you have just copied apps and data and that's fine uh, now the reason this what will happen works is because in general the option to copy apps and data is only accessible throughout the setup after you verify the phone now the phone is still in a locked state as you can see right here and uh, this will matter in a second because once we select done and then select skip later done keep in mind that phone is still technically locked but once we select get started we are done with the setup even though we never verified anything and what that allows us to do now with the setup being by the phone considered to be finished is it allows us to navigate into these settings scroll down to additional settings and then scroll down and select backup and reset reset phone erase all data erase all data and once more press on erase all data this will then 
factory reset your phone and remove all the protection from the phone. Now, as you remember throughout the process, we already were located in the settings. And the reason this didn't work before, why we didn't do that right from the get-go, is because when the device is still in a setup state, it basically would reset and go back to being reset because it knows that it wasn't a setup, the device is locked, therefore after reset, stays locked. But once the setup is finished, the device is like thinking, okay, the setup is finished, you're trying to perform a reset, there are some accounts on here, but those should only be here if you're a legitimate user and you put them on. So the phone gets confused, thinks that basically you finished up the setup and you added these accounts and protection, and when you do a reset through settings, it just gets rid of it as it considers you to be a legitimate user of the device and automatically does that for you. Now, uh, like I mentioned, press on the button once again to perform a factory reset of the device, which will fully unlock the device. Now, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.